Hello, it's Sarah, and I have my mermaid tile reveal today. So, this is this is the new one. Obviously, this is the old one, um, and I just wanted to show the subtle differences. Um, this one, it's yeah, it's quite a bit thicker, even without the smushy layer. <laughs> this one, I mean, actually, that layer was oh god, and I just stuck it on the sticky stuff. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, here she is. A few things are different, like the fish are opposite, because the fish that I had left in the sticker packs were, um, opposite. I didn't have a crab for this one, so I ha I used this clam. And I added a little bit more, um, greenery, like there's this purple, I found this purple piece of, like, greenery I put in. And I still did the shells, um... You know, I, I put a few things different places, but um, all in all, it's pretty much the same thing. So, um, she turned out pretty good. I have a few bubbles, like nothing major, because it is an underwater scene. It's not, you know, it's not really noticeable. I mean, there's a couple micro bubbles on the, like the starfish that, I, you know, they're a little noticeable. But, um, and just in general, I think, you know... There are some bubbles, like tiny micro bubbles and stuff. There's a couple bigger, like there's a bigger one right there. Two of them actually. But like I said, it's an underwater scene, so you kind of get away with that. There's one right there. But I like it. I put the bling in. This one, I didn't color the resin at all for the background. I just um, glittered it. Like this is just a chunky glitter. It's like a chunky blue glitter. So that was it. I just poured a thin layer to cover the bottom and like kind of evenly spread that throughout. And um, you know what? I have this stand here. I'm going to see what it looks like um, on the stand. So I was thinking about uh, putting felt on the back. I know a lot of people put felt on the back of their pieces. And um, I kind of like it clear though, but this is like a soft green and then I have the white. Look how bright the white looks if I put like white behind it. That looks really bright. I like that. But then here's like a blue and I love this color blue too. And that's really pretty too. But I don't even really know how to attach felt. So I'm not real sure if I will or not. And I'm probably going to keep her anyway because she's like my really first, um, real first detailed piece. And, um, I don't know. I, I just like her. I had to redo my, um, I did my mermaid again. I re, and Claudia had asked for a tutorial and there's lots of, um, Copic coloring tutorials. I'm not, I'm not the best Copic color. So I really didn't want to, um, stick my neck out and do a tutorial really um, because I just do it for fun and um, I ripped her tail so this was the second one I was going to do a green fish tail but I ended up going back to I had it this is my third one I did and I changed the crown a little bit from the first one like on the first one I colored the crown like yellow or gold but this one I just did it with my um they're like these gel pens. I have a gold gel pen, so I just kind of outlined it in the gold gel pen. And the other thing is, I did do green gel pen for her eyes. So, I mean, she did turn out really cute. And this is actually a stamp to the turtle. So now you know you can use your stamps and put them into the resin. I just Mod Podge these, and they really turned out great. I think I forgot if, if I... These are like cardstock... Um, stand, um, stickers, that one and that one. This one has like a little bit of plastic on it, but I don't remember if for the second batch that I did this in Mod Podge, and I threw it in there, and it turned out fine. So, it's pretty though. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not sure what I should do if I should just leave it clear. Because look how pretty it is clear. It's really pretty clear. But then, like, what are you going to do with it? If you hang it on the wall, it'll take on the color of the wall. If you put it on a table like this, I mean, it's see-through, so it's going to take on whatever's behind it anyway. So it probably is better off putting um, a color behind it. I just really love the soft green. I think I'm going to try and find, like, a soft green felt, and I think I might use that. Everything shows up really well with it like that, so let's see if I can get it. 
So there she is. Pretty happy. Um, I opened an Etsy shop today. I don't really have anything. I'm not ready to go yet because I need to figure out shipping and stuff like that. But I will have some resin pieces up there. I'm also going to put some of my paper, um, like my mini albums. I'm going to put clay. I'm going to put a little bit of everything, whatever I have. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that. And that's my mermaid tile. So um, let me know what you think. I think she's super cute. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.